Welcome to Windows 8 tutorial lesson number one. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to access your start menu, and I'm also going to show you how to search for applications using the Windows 8 Metro interface. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is place your cursor in the upper right hand corner of your screen and slowly move your cursor down towards these icons. And this is what's called your charm bar. And I'm going to show you that one more time. You place your cursor in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You'll see a few icons that appear. They'll disappear if you don't do anything. So if you, you have to place your cursor back up there again if you don't. So place your cursor back up there and slowly move your cursor down towards these icons. And again, this is called your charm bar menu. And you're going to be using this a lot in Windows 8, so it's very important that you get familiar with how to access it. So let's go ahead and show you how to access the start menu. You place your cursor over this icon that has the text start under it. If you left click on it, it'll bring up what's called your Metro interface. And the first thing you'll notice is in the upper left hand corner of your screen, it says the word start. And this is indicating that you're at the start menu within the Metro interface. So let me show you how to go through and look at some of the other applications that you have installed. Let's go to the bottom part of our screen towards this scroll bar and then left click and drag it to the right. And you'll be able to scroll through and see some of the other applications that you have installed on your computer. So that's how you scroll through and look at some of the applications. The next thing I want to show you is how to search for applications. To search for any application that you have on your computer. So place your cursor in the upper right hand corner of the screen and then go down slowly towards these icons and then we're going to select the one that says search and we're going to search for applications that are on our computer. And when you hit that search bar it's going to show all the applications that you have installed. So you can alternatively if you didn't want to search when you hit that search icon you can go to the bottom of your Metro interface and use the scroll bar to scroll through and visually look at all the applications that you have installed on your computer and you'll notice that uh, there's a lot more applications here because it shows every application that you have installed on your computer but if you wanted to search and you didn't want to look through visually all the applications you have installed you would just go to the upper right hand corner and go to the search search option and then make sure that there's a blue rectangle behind the text that says apps right here and if, if you have that that one selected you'll be able to search all the applications that you have on your computer so if I typed in Chrome in the left hand corner of our site of our uh, screen in the left hand corner of our screen you'll see that it brings up Google Chrome as the option if we type in Firefox you'll see that it finds that I have the application Firefox installed if I type in the word PowerPoint you'll see that it brings up the application PowerPoint as an option and if you were to click on that, it would actually open that application. But in this case, I'm not going to click on it because I just wanted to show you how to access your start menu. But you might be wondering, how do I get back to the main part of my Metro interface? Well, there's really two ways. One, you could click the Windows key on your keyboard, and it would bring you back to the Metro interface. But let's go ahead and go back to search. Let's go to the upper right-hand corner, and then I'll click on search. And I'll show you another way. If you, didn't, if you didn't want to click the button on your keyboard, you could just go to the upper right hand corner and make the charm bar appear. When that charm bar appears, you'll just click on the start option and it'll bring you back to the main part of your Metro interface. So that's how you access your start menu. That's how you search for applications. And that's basically how you navigate your Metro interface in regards to your applications in terms of finding them. So I hope that this uh, Windows 8 tutorial was helpful for you. And if it was, you know, give us a thumbs up and then subscribe or share our video. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to try to help you. And uh, I hope that you stay tuned for future Windows, Windows 8 tutorials.